in our study, what we did was we looked at a series of patients who are HPV positive, uh, have HPV positive oropharyngeal cancer, and uh, looked at them on a molecular level using targeted DNA sequencing. Uh, HPV positive oropharynx cancer generally has a very good outcome. Uh, uh, and patients who have smoking re related oropharynx cancers don't have a very good outcome. Our goal was to look at patients who have HPV and tobacco exposure and see whether those patients differ genetically than the two other groups. Uh, so we started with about 66 patients uh, for which we took uh, DNA and did some targeted DNA sequencing as I mentioned uh, and we found that there were distinct genomic uh, differences between the groups that were HPV positive non-smokers and HPV positive smokers. Um, and we, we, we see that the mutations that we see in the group of smokers actually mimic HPV negative tumors. And why is that important? The reason it's important is because patients who are HPV positive but have this genetic profile probably won't do as well and won't respond as well to treatment and therefore we should think about other treatment options for them.